Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Luis. Good evening. Hello, Ronald. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, very fine. Thanks. And you? I'm doing good. Very good. Thank you. Is it raining near your house? Yeah. Yeah. Here it's raining really <laughs> hard. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Ya estaba con miedo que se fuera la luz. Y yo dije, ay, no, que no se vaya la luz, por favor. Cualquier cosa, ahí le, ahí le mando un mensaje también por aquí. <laughs> Sí, porque está bien fuerte la lluvia. Yo dije, bye. El diluvio. Hello, Mr. Luis. How are you? I don't listen. Eh? No. no, no no te escuchamos, Luis Parrilla. <risa> Ay, <¿Cómo> <risa> Tenía apagado el micrófono. Ay, detallito, vea. <risa> Cositas. Cositas de la vida. Cositas de nada, vea. Ok. Hello, Norma. Hello, Mr. Rivas. Astrid. Welcome to another day of classes. Yeah. How was your weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? ¿Cómo la pasaron? Very good. Was it good? <clears throat> what, are, what are some activities that you do on the weekend? Uh, do you sleep? Do you listen to yeah. music? Do you watch every TV? day? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> but on the weekend, specific activities that you do on the weekend? Today. <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> okay. So we we can we can go and we can cover that vocabulary. Nos podemos ir por ese vocabulario para empezar el día de hoy. Así podemos tener, pues, obviamente, muchas más opciones como contestar. Okay, so in this one, we are going to use the teacher. How do you say activities we do only on weekends? Only on weekends. Hibernación. <laughs> Está en estado de coma. Yeah. Activities we do only on weekends. So only on weekends, maybe, only on weekends, we sleep. I mean, but we, we do sleep, right? Not like during the week that we are like, and then you go again, right? Entre semana tal vez ustedes duermen así como medio intermitente. A las cuatro ya me voy. So, but on the weekend, maybe you, you sleep more. What is another activity that you do only on weekends? Play. Play, play what? Play... play video games. Ah, play video games. Good. Play video games. Okay. Play video games. What else? Uh, run. Run. Okay. You run or you exercise. Exercise. <laughs> you run or you exercise. Hello, everybody, for all the ones that are connecting. Para todos los que se me acaban de conectar, bienvenidos. It's a pleasure to have you here. Aún con lluvia, yo sé que mis alumnos vienen nadando. Yeah. No hay problema. Esas son las ventajas del home office, mire. Y usted no se moja ni nada, solo hasta café puede tener ahí en la parte. Bien feliz. 
en las clases presenciales, allá iba uno todo chupado con la sombrilla, mojando a todo mundo, permiso, permiso, ¿verdad? con los zapatos mojados. Pero son lindas las clases presenciales, a mí me encanta. Ajá. Estamos hablando de cosas que hacemos específicamente en el fin de semana. We have some examples. Sleep, play video games, run and exercise. What else do you do only on weekends? Si no sabemos cómo se dice, decimos pues, teacher, how do you say eh, compartir en familia? Teacher, how do you say cocinar? Okay, so I need examples. ¿Qué otras cosas hacemos solo en el fin de semana? How do you say partido de fútbol? <laughs> ah, soccer games. Uh, soccer games. You can play or watch. Watch? Watch. watch. Okay, watch. Soccer games. You game. can watch soccer games or soccer matches. Oh, yeah. The match is like el, el juego, right? To watch soccer matches. What else? Okay. And the ladies, what do, what do you do? Uh, Hoy los, los chicos han venido Hello, con todo, ¿eh? Hello. Which one? Another activity that you do only on the weekends. Um, that's one that I do, share with my family. Leer, teacher. Leer. Read. Yes. Read the book. Read. Okay. A, a, an English book. Uh -huh. To read an English book. Uh -huh. Read good, it. Good. Books. <laughs> Homework. Okay. Ahora yo les puse un, un nuevo agregado en su vida que no tenía. Tarea. Así va. Ay, pinche. Aún no lo termino. <laughs> ya. Yeah. Ustedes creyeron que se habían divorciado de las tareas, pero. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> uh. Conocieron a Teacher Nati y nos volvimos a casar. <laughs> Do homework. Do you cook a special food on the weekend? Do you cook a special food? ¿Cocinan cosas especiales? No. Beans. Yes. Ah, but the beans are good. I mean, here in El Salvador, the beans are the beans, right? <laughs> en ningún beans. otro país, en ningún otro país va a encontrar esa sopita de frijoles con aguacate, carnita, cebolla, crema. Un oh. <laughs> huevo duro. <laughs> Y todos, justo en el momento que no he cenado. Yo sé. <laughs> ok, no, in any other country you are going to find it. It's only here in El Salvador. And with the hot tortillas, right? But they are very good. So that it's, that's something like a special food or that you say like sopa de gallina or things like those. Right? What else do you do on the weekends with your family? Let's see, I'm going to go and ask for different examples. Evelyn, what is something specific that you do on the weekends? Uh, teacher, how do you say lavar ropa? Ah, <laughs> that's important. That's important. We do that, right? To wash the clothes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Ahorita cualquier día soleado, vale. Wash the clothes. Another one. Wash the clothes. Wash the clothes. Eh, Odalis, what is something that you do on the weekends? Um, eh, no sé cómo dice. Ir a la universidad. Oh, you go to the university on the weekends? Sí. Oh my God, okay. To take, okay, to receive classes in that one. To receive classes. Me too. <laughs> Griselda, what is something that you do only on the weekends? Clean my room. You to clean the room or to clean the house, right? To clean the house. Marta Alicia, what is something that you do on the weekends? Estamos hablando de las cosas que hacemos solo en los fines de semana. Cuando yo pura actividades de la casa, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Housework. Housework. Ok, homework es tareas de clase. Y housework son tareas del hogar. Son, pero no tareas de cheque, no, o sea, para reír, trapear, hacer limpieza, etc. Right, those are housework. 
Astrid, Astrid, what is something that you do only on the weekend? Um, wash the clothes, clean uh -huh. the house. Um, what did you say? Um, bañar el perro. Ah, to shower the dog. To shower the plants. Okay, to water the plants. <laughs> To water the plants. What else? Do you go to church? To go to church is ir a la iglesia, right? To go to church. No. 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 <laughs> I sleep, teacher. Hello, <laughs> Hello, hello, Brendita. How are you? No podía entrar. Ay, no, por la lluvia, quizás. Pero ya está aquí, que es lo importante. Edwin yeah. va manejando, tenga cuidado. So, as you can see here, all these examples that I am sharing here are activities. Hello, Brendita. What is an activity that you do on the weekends? Um, the house is going. The housework, uh -huh. you do housework, uh-huh. Do housework, um, the cleaning, the cleaning house. Clean the house, uh-huh. Uh, I do movies. Ah, you okay, you watch movies, you watch movies. Okay. Yeah, because if you do movies, es que usted es la actriz. <laughs> well, oh, we never my. know, <laughs> we never know. <laughs> En vivo, en no, TikTok, no. This. <laughs> no. You watch movies, okay? You watch movies. Do you check do you check social media people? Do you check social media? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok on the weekend? No teacher. No. no. Uh -huh. yes. I I will believe. Uh -huh. I will believe. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, I will believe that you don't check Facebook, that you don't check Instagram, that you don't check TikTok. Ajá. Quien quita y tengamos algún TikToker aquí, algún influencer. Okay. <laughs> so, díganos, así lo seguimos. So, all these examples that you have here, people, are examples of verbs. Verbs that explain different actions. For example, you say, on the weekends, I... And in this case, you don't say am or are or is because you have the verbs. En este caso, este es otro tipo de oraciones que vamos a ir aprendiendo, que las vamos a ver ya el día de mañana, las vamos a ver como en detalle. En el caso de cuando eh, hacemos oraciones ya con verbos diferentes al verbo to be. Cuando hacemos oraciones con el verbo to be, podemos decir I am in class. Okay, and that's one example of a sentence, right? I am in class. Yo estoy en clase, right? And that's one example. But <clears throat> if you say, I receive, I receive classes. This is another sentence. I receive classes. But in this case, you don't say, you don't use the verb to be. Because the verb of the sentence is receive, okay? In this case, you say, I receive classes. Yo recibo clases. Ese es el verbo de su oración. Ese es otro tipo de oraciones donde no ocupamos el verbo to be porque son oraciones en presente simple. So you say, I receive classes. I watch movies. I check social media. I clean the house. I do housework. I shower the dog. I water the plants. Okay. Después del sujeto que sería I, ocupamos un verbo normal que denota la acción de la que estamos hablando. Okay, so this is another type of sentences. Ahorita estamos enfocados en las oraciones con el verbo to be, que decimos am, is, are, para denotar soy o estoy. I am happy, I am a teacher, I am in class, right? So that's another type of sentences. But if you want to talk about a specific activities, you use the subject and the normal verb. Okay, esta es como una pequeña introducción a lo que vamos a ir viendo en esta semana. Esta semana vamos a ver ya oraciones con simple present, pero siempre con el verbo to be y también con verbos y acciones como estas que tenemos aquí. In this one, you cannot say, I am shower the dog. 
¿Por qué estaría incorrecta esta oración? I am shower the dog. ¿Por qué estaría incorrecta? Si yo le digo, I am shower the dog. ¿Cuál es el problema aquí? Because um, you am. Um, you am. Um. To be in normal verb. Exactly, because you are using the verb to be in another verb. So you cannot say, I am I am the dog, because that will be an incorrect sentence, right? So, so you say, I shower the dog. Yo baño al perro, right? I shower the dog. And in this case, no puedes decir, yo soy baño al perro. Because it's incorrect, so you cannot have double verb. In this case, it's only the normal verb, shower. So but that's another thing that we are going to be discovering during this week, okay? So that was a good introduction for the class. Well, my dear students, today we are going to close uh, the review of the verb to be. We are going to finish the unit. I know you finished the unit on the platform, but we are going to work on that one today. So let's go back here. Remember the different vocabulary, right? Remember the different vocabulary that we always use. Teacher, how do you say this in English? Practice with me. Teacher, how do you say bañarse in English? Teacher, practice with me. Teacher, how do you say Teacher, how do you say? How do you say cocinar in English? How do you say cocinar in English? Good. How do you say cocinar in English? And you say, teacher, can you speak more slowly, please? Can you speak more slowly? Teacher, can you speak more slowly, please? More slowly, teacher, right? A mí a veces se me van las carretas y se me olvida que ustedes como son tan buenos, yo digo, ah, estos niños son de avanzado, digo, y se me olvida. So please, teacher, can you speak more slowly, please? It's like, teacher, más despacito. Can you speak more slowly, please? Teacher, what does, what does slowly mean? What does, y aquí ocupamos la palabra que ustedes quieran saber, what does vocabulary mean? What does slowly mean? ¿Qué significa? Right? Well, that... What does, y usamos la palabra que quieren saber, mean? ¿Qué significa tal cosa? Teacher, how do you spell? ¿Cómo lo deletrea? How do you spell? How... Teacher, I have a question. Teacher, I have a question. Okay? Cualquier pregunta. Pare en la clase y diga. Teacher, can you repeat that, please? Excuse me. Can you repeat that, please? Excuse me. Can you repeat that, please? And for sure, the greetings, right? Los saludos que son sumamente importantes. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, right? Those are very important to remember. Good morning, good afternoon. Good Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And good night. Good night. Good night. You can say sweet dreams, sleep well, sleep tight, see you tomorrow, right? All those things can be also included. You can say, uh, see you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow is nos vemos mañana, right? You can say, sleep well. Duerman bien. Sleep tight. Sleep tight es like que duerman bien y profundo. Right? Sleep, sleep tight. Cuando decimos dulces sueños. Right? Sleep tight, you say. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Those are other examples that you can also use when you communicate or when you say goodbye at night, okay? So keep it there, right? Keep it, <laughs> okay, alguien grita en mi casa. Keep it in mind. So I have a couple of questions, people, and I know you remember. <clears throat> yeah. 
How many letters are there in the English alphabet? How many letters are there in the English alphabet? Twenty-six. Twenty? Twenty-six. Okay, twenty-six. What is the letter number four of the alphabet? D. Uh -huh. What is the letter number seven? I. F. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G, 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 G. G. What is the last letter of the alphabet? G. Z. What is G. one before the last one? A. One before the last one? <laughs> B. One before the last one. What is the meaning of before and what is the meaning on or after? Right. Explicamos eso la semana pasada. ¿Qué significa before? Antes. 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 ¿Y after? Después. 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 Y si yo les digo, one before the last one. Sí. Why. Ajá, why. Una why. antes de la última, right? Why. Yeah, yeah. What is the first letter of your name? Hey. No. The first letter R, of your... R, R, R. <laughs> What is the first letter of your name, Norma? The first letter of your name. Um, Normita, <laughs> what is the first letter of your name? N. R? No. <laughs> N, N, N. M. The first letter. The first huh? letter. M. The first letter of your name is N. M. What is the first letter of my name? N. N, very good. N. Prendita, what is the last letter of your name? Oh, Brendita Martinez. ¿Cuál es la última letra de su nombre? What is the last letter of your name? Um, D. D. Um. Brenda, what is the last letter Hola. of Brenda? Uh -huh. Brenda, the A, right? The A is the last letter of Brenda. Garcia, what is the first letter of your last name, Brenda Garcia? A. The first letter of your last name. A. No, the first letter of your last name. Last name. La pedido. Okay, sí. we have the names, right? We have the names and the last names. The names are, for example, in my case is Evelyn Natalie. So those are my names. And the oh. last names is Monterosa, right? That it's my last name, mi apellido. And in some cases, you have the family name, right? Que es un apellido familiares, right? What is your family name? It is another form of saying that one. What is the letter number 10 of the alphabet? Letter number 10. J. Uh -huh. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Very good. Letter J. Excellent. Hola. Hola, madre. Okay. So in the alphabet, you have 26 letters, right? You have 26 letters. Here you have them. In this one, I will mark you the letter and you are going to tell me a word. Le voy a marcar la, la letra y ustedes me dicen una palabra con esa letra. No, Tanta como se les ocurra. No, okay. no. Solo una vamos a decir, no te enojes. This one. Palabras con I. I. Ice cream. Glue. Igloo. Ajá. More. Ice cream and igloo. Only two. Introduction. Introduction. Good introduction. More, 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 more. Information. Information. Very good. Intelligent. Intelligent. Very nice. Inversion. Inversion. Good. Five, four, three. Indifferent. Indifferent. Very good. The next one. Words with the letter O. Orange. Orange. Absolutely. What? Absolutely. <laughs> no, absolutely is with A. Off. Off. Good. Very good. Off. 
of. ¿Dónde trabajamos? ¿Dónde trabajamos? The of. Office. Of, office. Very good. The office. Okay. One more, one more. Five. Okay. Object. Good, very good. Words with G. Green. Green. Gray. Gray. Great. Uh -huh. With G, with G. Y en Google, palabras con G. <risa> en inglés, en inglés, please. In girl. Okay. girl, very good, girl. Excellent. Let's go gallery. with the last. Gallery. Gallery, yeah, the gallery on the phone. Very yeah. good. Girl. Words with P. Paper. Paper. Potato. Potato. <laughs> Pretty. Pretty. Ah, thank you very much. Person. Huh? Play. Pool. Play. Good. Person. Person. People. People. For sure. Are you people? <laughs> people. Pineapple, right? The next one. Paper. Paper. Good. Words with platform, your friend. Platform. The next one. Words with W. Winner. Winner. Window. 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 Word. 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 <laughs> Words with W. Word. A very Weekend. delicious. Weekend. Good. A very delicious fruit. What? White. White. War. Water. Melon. Wind. Washing. Water. Washing. Water. Okay. Wash. Watermelon. Right. Very good. Well. Where? Excellent. So, you see, this is a very simple exercise. Este ejercicio que les acabo de hacer yo ahorita es un ejercicio muy sencillo que ustedes pueden hacer cuando estén, digamos, que tengan unos 5 o 10 minutos ahí solo. Ahí tengan como un papelito y un lápiz ahí. Agarren una letra y pongan, va, la A. Palabras con A en inglés. Y se retan okay. ustedes mismos a acordarse todas las que puedan. Cuando ya topen, que ya no se acuerden, pasen a la B. De ahí pasan a la C, de ahí pasan a la D. Y ahí van practicando su vocabulario. Pero no hagan el chirín de ir a buscar a Google. No, no, eh, palabras con D en inglés. No, that's not good. So you can challenge yourselves. You can challenge yourselves in, in this little exercise. This is a very good exercise that you can do to practice, right? So ahí cuando se aburren de repente. Y, o si no tienen papel, agarren WhatsApp, abran un mensaje para ustedes mismos y se ponen ahí. Ahí a escribirlas. Y si están solitos, pues en nota de voz. Angel, Aquarium, eh, Apple. And then you start. You start creating words. It's a very good practice. The next one. Which are the vowels? Which are the vowels? Five. A. E. 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 U. I, I, O, I, o U, 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 right? A, E, I, O, U. Those are the vowels. Those are the vowels. A, E, I, O, N, U. Very good. <coughs> Which letter is next? C, D, E, F. F. Very good. C, D, E, F. Okay, it's the letter. F. F, A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? And which letter is between the O and the Q? P. P, P. very good, the P. Right here you have the letter P. It's between the O and the Q. And we were using these ones. Remember, at the beginning of the sentence, use capital letter, right? Siempre utilicen mayúscula al principio de la oración y el punto al final. Okay, that's very, very important. Right? In this one, examples of a and an. We did this one last week. Esta fue nuestra última práctica la semana pasada. What is the first sentence? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, but what is the first uh -huh. sentence? Complete sentence. She's is a manager. manager. She's a manager. Uh -huh. Number two? He is an actor. Number three? 
He's a student. The next one. Mark is a mechanic. Mark is a mechanic. Mechanic, right? Mechanic, no. Mechanic. The next one. I am a nurse. I am a nurse. I am a nurse. It is a school. It is a school. Very good. You are? You are a farmer. You are a farmer. She is? She is a music. Music. Okay, you say music, right? Music. Musician. 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 Okay, musician. 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 Okay, right now we are going to create examples. We are going to create examples based on the people in your house. Okay, van a agarrar gente de su casa, gente de su familia. Imagínense que en su casa hay un eh, Pedro. Buscamos a Pedro. Los recuerdos de la pandemia. Pedro is a, a doctor. Okay, Pedro is a doctor. Vamos a escoger tres o cuatro miembros de su familia y vamos a escribir qué profesión tienen. Okay? Right? About four people in your family. If it is a student, if it is a doctor, if it is a mechanic, if it is a factory worker, if it is a teacher, if it is a, I don't know, a seller, a businessman. Write four examples about people in your house. Write the name or you can say my mother, my father, my brother. Right? You can say that one too. My brother is a student, you can say. Puedes usar el nombre, puedes usar el parentesco. It's okay, but I need you to write four. Four examples based on people in your house. Go ahead, me llevo a su casa, que me alegra. Hi. Okay, four examples about your family. Solo un ejemplo. Four, Yes. What do you say, mechanic automotriz? Ah, okay. He, he can say he's a car mechanic. Car mechanic. Automotriz. Yes, it's a car. It's a well. In in most of the cases, the mechanic is. Okay. Okay. Let me just give me a second. I think it's it's a car mechanic. That's the one that I know. Give me a sec. I just need to check it. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> yeah, it, it, well, there's no difference. You have two options, a car mechanic or an automotive mechanic. I am going to write it for you. Automotive mechanic. There you go. Have an automotive mechanic. Automotive mechanic. Have an automatic mechanic. Automotive mechanic. There you go. Teacher. Yes. Why do you say carpenter in English? Carpenter. 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 A carpenter. Any Tío. Tío. 
Uncle. Uncle, there you have it. Teacher, how do you say uh, niñera? Niñera? A babysitter. Ama de casa. Which one? Ama de casa. Ah, okay. Here we go. Ama de casa is housewife. Housewife. Ese es el trabajo más cansado de todos. <laughs> the housewife. Housewife. Any other one? John? Finish? Perdón que tengo a mi anunciadora agarrando. No sé si alcanzan a ir a la clase. Ok. Alcanzan a escuchar a mi, a mi pequeño perro ladrando. Ok. So, let's work. I need volunteers. I need examples. Examples. Luis Parrilla, go ahead. Okay. Eh, eh, uno o cuánto. No, read your examples. Lea sus ejemplos. Bueno, el primero es Natanael is a student. Okay. Eh, my mother is a secretary. Okay. My father is a flyer. Ana is a chef. Okay, your father is? Lawyer. A lawyer, a lawyer. A lawyer. Okay, good, lawyer. very good. Lawyer, lawyer. Liar is mentiroso. So you have, to, you have to be very careful. He was like, what? I don't care. Okay. okay. Papa, necesitamos una reunión de padres de familia. <laughs> okay, chair, yo. Yeah. Go ahead, please. Go, go, go. Thank you, Luis. Okay. Um, <clears throat> vamos, vamos. Teacher. Dale, Brendita, dale. Yeah. My mother is its friend. My mother is is its friend. Okay. ¿Qué, ¿Cuál es la profesión de tu mamá? Mi madre es mi mejor amiga. Ah. ah. <laughs> okay, that's a nice profession. My mother is my best friend. Okay, good, 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 good. Mayrene, Mayrene is a student. Mayrene is a student, good. My father is very here the working. My, my, my father is a trabajador. Ah, hard work. <laughs> Hard work. Here es escuchar, ¿verdad? Hard working. Así se aprende. Eso es lo que me encanta de estos ejemplos. Eso sí que me gusta un montón. Hard worker. Hard worker. Hard worker. My father is hard worker. That he loves to work a lot. Good. Another example. Other two. ¿Ya estamos con los ejemplos? Yeah. Thank you very much, Brendita. Good job. Very nice. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Brenda. Okay, let's continue. Selena, go ahead. La vi con ganas de participar. No sé por qué. <laughs> My brother is, is a police. A police officer. My brother is a police officer. Good. My sister is... A global logistic technician. Okay, así. technician. 
Global Logistic Technician. Global Logistic Technician. Okay. Technician, good. My uncle is a um, construct worker. Okay, a construction, construction, construction worker. Worker. Very good. Uh, Jose is a farmer. Very good, Jose is a farmer. Very good job, excellent. Another volunteer? Otro voluntario? Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Dedo crático. Thank you, Isabel. Ah, si llevo, si llevo a uno y no hay voluntario, yo lo escojo. Isabel. My husband is a mechanic. My husband is a mechanic. Good. Downstairs is a student. ¿Dónde va la compu? Okay, well, well, what is the name of this one? Down, downstairs. Ah, daughter, daughter, daughter. Gangster is another thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bueno. Gangster is another. Hey, another. Mar Maria is a lawyer. Lawyer, lawyer. Lawyer, lawyer. lawyer. Espinocho, mentiroso. Lawyer. No. <laughs> y más que los pobres tienen fama, man. no. <laughs> los, los pobres abogados mm. sí que me los hacen. <laughs> ok, no. And the last one. <clears throat> el último, Isabel, ese era el último. Yes? Yes. Ok, good. Luis Rivas, go ahead. My son is student. Ok, my son is a student, good. My brother is carpenter. A carpenter, good. A carpenter. One is, one is um electrician. An electrician, right? An electrician. An electrician. Uh, my mother is housewife. A housewife. Housewife. My, my okay. My mother. wife. Your mother. Your mother is a housewife. Good. Eh, teníamos alguien que no podía entrar. Veamos. Le vamos a mandar el enlace. Tal vez le funcione. Oh, no sé si entró. Slash dog. ¿Quién era Slash dog? A mí también me sacó la tormenta, pero ya llegué. Ya, ya estamos de vuelta. There you go. Volunteer. Five, four, three. Thank no. you, Edwin. <laughs> go, go, go. Vamos a My mother is, uh, boy. My mother is secretary. My mother is a secretary. My mother is a secretary. A secretary. Uh, Good. My daughter is a student. A student. My daughter is a student. Good. Student. My father is a farmer. Okay. My father is a farmer. My wife is a supervisor. My wife is a supervisor. Very good. The final volunteer. Five, four, three. No lo tengo. Two. No tengo la postura. One. Carolina Durán, vamos. No la tengo, teacher. No tiene. Ok, no, eran los ejemplos que estábamos haciendo. Vamos, sí, Carita. pero no los tengo. Ay, ya la vamos a poner Jasmine, en el siguiente. Jasmine is a student. Ok. José is a ordinance. A janitor. My sister is... Ajá. A, eh, my sister is a nurse. Uh -huh. Ok, ordenanza es janitor. Janitor. Ahí se los envié en el chat. Janitor. Janitor. Very good job. Excellent uh, job. My mother is a babysitter. Uh, my mother oh, is a babysitter. Ajá. Uh -huh. Continue, Martita, continue. My mother is a babysitter. Roxana, a nurse. Is a nurse. Arturo is an actor. My sister is a... a student. Arturo is an actor, de verdad. Sí. Ah, wow. ¿Qué? Payasito. Ah, no, pero eso, esos son los que más cuestan. Y mire que el público es duro. Yo fui payaso de fiesta <ríe> también. <ríe> Yo amenizaba a fiestas también. <ríe> en la U. <ríe> ya ven. Y de ahí me hice maestra. No, I'm kidding. <ríe> So that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Es uno de los trabajos que más cuestan. Yo era animadora de fiesta y sí que cuesta. Eso. Y nosotros, ¡Tay! yo era la más animada de la gente. 
<laughs> y tengo otro hermano que también hace eso. Oh, wow. It's fantastic, right? The pronunciation, nurse, right? A nurse, right? An actor and a babysitter, right? Babysitter. That was very good. <clears throat> Excellent examples, my dear students. Very good job. You did a very good job sharing your examples. So we were working on this one. We were working on the, on the manual as well, creating questions, right? We were working on the manual, creating questions. And on these ones, remember that when you create the question, you put first the verb to be, then the subject, and then the complement, right? We were creating sentences like, she is a manager. Negative, she is not a manager. Question, is she a manager, right? And then you have the questions. Here on the manual, and let me see if I can go on the manual better here, aquí en el manual. <clears throat> We have done all these things, okay? Del manual ya cubrimos toda esta parte. Ya cubrimos las oraciones afirmativas y negativas, right? We did the examples. You did your own examples, right? Su nombre, su ocupación. You did it as well. We did the conversation, right? Ya hicimos las conversaciones. And we are going to work on a listening in a moment. Ya vamos a trabajar en un listening por ahí para que las podamos hacer. And for sure, we did affirmatives and negatives. And in this one, the affirmative form for this sentence, what is it? ¿Cuál sería la forma afirmativa de esta oración que tenemos aquí? They. Ajá, but what is missing? They are. They are, they are. receptionists, right? They are receptionists. Susan and Marcos. And you they have are. not. Tenemos um, not. They are Susana not. And Marcos okay, Susana and Marcos are not, are not colleagues, right? Susana and Marcos are not colleagues. The next one, we, Carla and Sandra. We are. We are, we are very good. You, not supervisors. Um, you are not supervisors. You are not supervisors. Very good. We accountants. We are. We are accountants. We are accountants. Accountants is contadores, right? They are Mrs. Herrera and Mrs. Mejia. They are. Right? They are. They are Mrs. Herrera and Mrs. Mejia. Okay, so in this one, how will you complete this conversation? How will you complete this conversation? Hello, I am. ¿Qué le pondríamos aquí? Nati. I am Nati, right? If you're talking about me, right? Hello, I am Nati. Nice to meet you. We are. We are. ¿Quiénes van a estar en esta conversación? We are. Deme dos nombres. Okay, we are Ronald and Brenda. Okay, los que me salieron en cámara. We are Ronald and Brenda. We yeah. are, ¿cuáles son sus ocupaciones? We are? Pilot. Pilots, okay. Pilots, ya, yeah, ya ven, vaya, fueron a volar. Really? I am a teacher. <laughs> I am a teacher. Oh, okay, so how will you finish? ¿Cómo terminamos la oración? ¿Qué pasó? Sí, you later. <laughs> okay. No, no pasó nada. Sí, no ha pasado nada. <clears throat> so you can say, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And then you say, nice to meet you too, right? You can say, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. And then you say, bye. Bye bye. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, uh, para despedirse, podemos decir, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. You can say, si nos estamos viendo por primera vez, sí. Pero como ya nos vamos a despedir, podemos decir, it was a pleasure. Fue un placer. Right? It was a pleasure. Porque ya terminamos la oración. Si decimos, por ejemplo, cuando nos estamos presentando en el momento, podemos decir, it is a pleasure. 
right? Aquí lo vamos a poner abajo. Aquí. Si está pasando en el momento, sí le puedo decir yo. It is a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay. So you can say, for example, imagine that it's my first time talking with you. And I say, hello, what is your name? Yo estoy hablando con Griselda. Vamos a hacer esta, esta interacción con Griselda. Hello, what's your name? Hi. Uh, my name is Griselda. What's oh, your name? My name is Natalie. It is a pleasure to meet you. Ahí lo podemos ocupar. And then okay. you can say, pleased to meet you too, right? ¿Cómo contestamos a it is a pleasure to meet you? Decimos, please to meet you. To. Please to meet you too. This is other vocabulary that you can also use, right? It, it is, is a pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Please to meet you too. Encantada de conocerte. La persona me dice, es un placer conocerla, y yo le digo, encantada de conocerla. Okay, so we have that. The, you have a, another phone. Good, very good question. Excellent. So that is an example that you can use to talk about occupations. Good job. So we did this one as well, right? We did the conversation about Ana Trujillo and Mr. Carlos Lopez, right? And when you were introducing someone else, right? We were doing this one. In this conversation, in this conversation, <clears throat> I have two questions. Is Mrs. Diana Aguilar the manager of the company? Yes, it is. Yes, it is or yes, she is? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. ¿A dónde puedo corroborar esa oración? ¿A dónde puedo corroborar esa información? She is the manager of the company. She is the manager of the company, right? She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Good, very good. Are Anna and Carlos supervisors? Are Anna and Carlos supervisors? No. Uh -huh. No. Why not? No. No. Why? Why not? No, I am not, or no, they are not. 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 What are their professions? They are? Super. Uh, say, are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am a sales person. Good. I am a sales person. So that's the profession. Very good job. And in this one, that is the final part of the unit, we have just no questions. What we were studying just right now. Are and is at the beginning of the sentence. For the answers, you say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Or no, she is not. Right? Yes, he is. No, he is not. We were doing a practice, right? Remember, estábamos haciendo una práctica con unos famosos la semana pasada. Right? Is he an actor? Is he a singer? No, he is not. Right? Yes, we are. Okay? No, we are. Yes, they are. No, they are. And here we have a couple of exercises. Is she Jessica? No. No. No, she is not. Right? She? She is Linda, right? She is Linda. A manager? I am. Yes, I, pero en la pregunta. ¿Cómo hacíamos la pregunta? Is a manager. I am a manager. I a manager. Am I a manager? ¿Cómo le preguntáramos a alguien más? Are you a manager? Are you? Very good. Are you a manager? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. M, M, M. Okay, yes, I am. Okay, the next one. Is Thomas? Is he? Very good. Is he Thomas? He, Jose. Is he Thomas? No. So you say no. 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 He is not. He is not. He is Jose. He is Jose, right? 
He is Jose. Francisco and Alan? Are they. Are, are they, they, right? Are they Francisco and Alan? Yes. They are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Very good. Marcela and Carla? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you Marcela and Carla? No, we? No, we are not. No, we are not, right? We are? We are. We are. We are Maria and Camila. We are Maria and Camila. Imagine if I say, eh, okay, la conversación la voy a hacer con. Veamos. Con Odales. Aquí no pasó nada. Veamos. Okay. Excuse me, are you Griselda Velázquez? Ajá. ¿Qué me contestaría Odales? Excuse me, are you Griselda Velázquez? No, I am no. I am Odalis. I am Odalis Bonilla. Oh, Odalis. I'm very sorry. Nice to meet you, Odalis. What is your profession, Odalis? Um, I am, I am in story. I am a story. 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 Como las las que empacan, ¿no? No. No. Sorry. Ah, student. Ok. Yo dije, está en empaque y embalaje ahí en story. No. Por el viento que me estoy dejando a llover. Ay, pobre Dali. De hecho. Ok. Good. Nice to meet you, Dalis. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ok. Ronald Ulises. Excuse me. Are you a teacher? Oh. I am not. <laughs> I am a. I am a pilot. A pilot. Oh, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? Uh, en airport. <laughs> I work at. I work. I at, work at, at the airport. The airport. The airport. Very good job. I work at the airport. Very nice. Evelyn Garcia. Excuse me, are you a doctor? What is your profession? Okay, I'm a student. Okay, nice to meet you, Evelyn. Very nice. Okay. In this one, in the conversation that we have here, we have a different form. Imagine that it's the same example that I was saying. Say, excuse me, are you, okay, I will use Brenda in this one. Excuse me, are you Brenda? No, I am not, I am Nati. That's Brenda. Okay, and I will explain you how. Where? Right over there. And are you, uh, are you a teacher? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to leave the conversation right here. En una conversación como esta, cuando decimos, por ejemplo, aquí un Pokémon, ¿eh? solo me faltó la otra oreja. <laughs> Very bad. Un Jigglypuff. <laughs> un Jigglypuff. There you go. Excuse me, are you Brenda? And you say like, no, I'm not, I'm Nati. That's Brenda. Y señalas a quién es Brenda, vea. O sea, si la estuviéramos haciendo como face to face, vea. No, that's Brenda. Where? Y yo le digo, ¿dónde? ¿Dónde está? Right over there. Ahí como que allá, que no la mira. <laughs> right over there. And are you a teacher? It's like, yes, I am, right? And then you can continue. But when you say, where? ¿A dónde? Right over there. It's like, justo ahí, justo ahí al frente, right? Right so over there. Eso significa right, esto. Right, right over there. Right over there. Justo ahí al frente. Right over there. Right over there. Right over there, right? That is the form of the use of this, right? Right, right over there. there. Okay, so we cover the alphabet, right? We cover the alphabet that has been like the topic of the week. And just to give a quick uh, practice, what is the name of this letter? M, right, M, and we close the mouth, right, M. 
This one? D. D. This one? B. 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 This one? B. 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 Esta es la B dental, ok, así, B, B. and this one is B. B. The next one? B and B. K. R. R. S. B. Z. F. X. C C J so, I need two volunteers. Vamos a ver, dos voluntarios. Que me levanten la manita. No, 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 no. Dos voluntarios. Necesito que me levanten la manita. Griselda en... ¿En quién más? Griselda en... Evelyn. Ok, Griselda en Evelyn. Vamos a ver. Ok. Griselda, you are going to have this side... And Evelyn is going to have this side, okay? Griselda has from 1 to 6 and Evelyn from 7 to 12. <coughs> Vamos, Griselda. Sin equivocarse. M, M uh -huh. D, B, V, B, K, R, S, B, D, F, X. Very good, Evelyn. C, 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 L, E, A, I, U, D, I, J, D. Very good job. You see my volunteers. I love my volunteers. You are very good. You are very, very good. Okay. So those were the, well, the alphabet that we have been, um, that we have been practicing so far. Okay. We have been practicing this one. And today, the topic for the day, we are going to practice the possessive adjectives. The possessive adjectives, and we are going to practice a little bit on the possessive nouns. We have been using the subjects, right? I, you, we, and they, okay? But the possessive adjectives mean something different. For example, I, ¿qué significa I? Yo. Yo, ¿qué significa my? Me. 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 In the case of you, tú. Tú. And your. Tú. 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 El, el, his, ellos, <coughs> no, suyo de él, <laughs> suyo de él, eso es, eso es chistoso, pero es suyo de él, ¿verdad? si yo le digo, por ejemplo, estoy hablando de mi papá, and I say like, he is my father, his name is Ernesto, right, in the case of my father, right, su nombre, su nombre de mi papá, él, ¿verdad? his, she, Ella. Ella. ella, her, suyo, suyo, de ella, right? It, suyo de ella, suyo de ella, right? Para hacer lo que es femenino. Sí, es chistoso, pero es, es, así es. It, eso, eso, eso. And it's suyo de eso. Oh, no. <laughs> Por ejemplo, si estamos hablando de un gato, right? It is my cat. Its name is Pelusa, right? Su nombre, su nombre del gato, right? Its name is Pelusa. We. Nuestro. We. Nosotros. We es nosotros. nosotros. Our is nuestro, nuestro. right? Nuestro. Suyo de nuestro, no. <laughs> nuestro, <laughs> nuestro. And they. Ellos. Ellos. And they are. Suyo de ellos. El de ellos, right? O ellos, ok. Ellos y el de ellos. 
So you say, they are my students. Their names are Brenda, Evelyn, Rocio, etc., etc. right? So that's the way we use it. We need to be very careful about this one. And in this one, we can also have possessive forms, okay? Estos posesivos, en este caso, cuando decimos our teacher's name, ¿de quién es el nombre? Del profesor. Okay, de la teacher, right? Our teacher's name is... ¿Cómo complementaríamos esta oración? Our teacher's name is... Nati. Nati, right? Our Nati. teacher's name is Nati. Nati. Pedro's address is... Calle... Oh, no, Cantón Patas Heladas, whatever, right? Si sí hay un Cantón Patas Heladas en Santa Ana. Calle... I don't know. Calle Banana. Okay, Banana Street. Vamos a poner. Banana, Banana Street. Okay. Number three. Pedro's address is. Ay, aquí me faltó el verbo, sorry. Pedro's address is Banana Street number three. Just to invent one. Melissa and Dora's last name is Flores. Que es el apellido de ellas. And in this case, the apostrophe and the S, it's not is. Aquí si se fijan, este apóstrofe con la S no significa is. Es la posesión. Estamos hablando del apellido de quién? De Melissa y Dora. La dirección de quién? De Pedro. El nombre de quién? De la teacher. Our teacher's name. Okay. This is really optional, right? It's not something that you are going to use every day. El usar las formas posesivas así como estas es como, como eh, opcional porque podemos decir Nati is our teacher. Tan simple como eso. Nati is our teacher. Pedro lives in Banana Street. Melissa and Dora are, eh, Melissa and Dora's last name is Flores. You can use it, okay? Pero igual lo tenemos que conocer. So in this one, your teacher's name is your, one of your classmates' names. Uh -huh. Tell me one of your classmates' name. Ulises. Uh -huh. Marta, Brenda. Marta, Brenda, Astrid, Selena. Okay. That's one of your classmates' name. A classmate's occupation. Actually work. A factory worker, right? An actor. But I didn't know. Mechanic. A mechanic, a pilot. <laughs> right? The teacher, right? A classmate's last name. Mejia. Mejia, right? Argueta, Morales, Montano, Mejia. Velasquez, Garcia. Okay? Beltran Campos, Arevalo, Vallegos, right? A classmate's last name. So in this one, for example, in your case, what is your first name? What is your primer nombre? What is your first name? Juan. Okay, Juan. What is your middle name? What is your second name? Ernesto. Ernesto, right? What is your last name? Sanchez. Sanchez. What is your occupation? Mechanic. A mechanic, mechanic. Cada vez que decimos mechanic se muere un diccionario. <laughs> ya matamos mechanic. como a siete solo ahora. <laughs> mechanic. <laughs> what is your boss's name? El nombre de tu jefe. Your boss's <laughs> name. Roque Medina. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Roque Medina. Mr. Roque Medina, right? What is your workplace? What is your workplace? ¿Dónde trabajan? Haynes Brown. Haynes Brown. Ahí sí todos contestan igual porque todos trabajan. Haynes Brown, right? The workplace, Haynes Brown. Good, very good. So... That's the way we do it, right? This is what we were doing here, the, the occupations, and we are going to do this one. But before doing this part, okay, antes de pasarnos a esta parte, le voy a pasar la lista, okay? 
porque estaba viendo ahí que no, no nos fuera a agarrar la lluvia. No te que vaya la luz. <risa> no, ya no se va a ir, ya van a ver que no. Espero que no. Un minuto más tarde. Ticha. Ahí voy. Déjenme, me ordeno aquí la vida. Y aquí. Ok. Remember when you listen to your name, say here or present, ok? Ay, ¿cuánto viene a las 10? A las 8 ya. <laughs> Eso nos encanta poner la oreja ahí. <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Let's work. Okay. <clears throat> Astrid David ahí largueta. Okay. Thank you very much. Ay de Lisania. Brenda Elizabeth Cerón. <laughs> Brenda Elizabeth Martínez. Thank you very much. Selina Janet Arevalo. Here, teacher. Diana Carolina Meléndez. Present. Edwin Ernesto Sánchez. Thank you. I yes, have some money. Evelyn del Carmen García. Present. Cristel Dayamilet Velázquez. Here. Isabel Rocío. Present. José Antonio Rivera. Hey, José Antonio. Luis Américo Rivas. Present. Luis Humberto Parrilla. Present. Marta Alicia Montana. Present. Norma Yamilé. Present. Odalis Marisol. Present. Ronald Ulises. Present. Roxana de Jesús. Y Yolanda Beatriz. Yolanda Beatriz. Chan, chan, chan. Eh, no vino Yolandita. Ok. ¿Y ustedes de repente se ven en el día cuando andan trabajando? ¿O no? Se ven ahí, coinciden en, en vivo. Vaya, papá, si me ven a José Antonio Rivera, ahí me le dicen, de las orejas, tráiganmelo. Mañana la clase. O si ven a Roxana, o a Yolanda, o a Aide. No, Aide se conectó el viernes. A todos los demás, dígale, hey, la teacher te anda buscando. Y es cierto, <ríe> yo los ando buscando. Good. So, let's continue here. I was going to open this one, ¿ok? Good, 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 good. Okay, let's continue with the topic. I was going to continue sharing here. Let me see. Oh, I was going to do the listening as well. Give me a second to open that one. Okay. We are going to do a listening first. And then we are going to move on the next topic. You can see, yes. Okay. Here it is. <clears throat> We're going to do a listening, people, and we are going to work and need you to take notes, okay? Voy a silenciar todos porque necesito que pongan atención en lo que van a escuchar y necesito que tomen notas, ¿ok? De lo que vayan escuchando, tomen notas ¿sí? de, lo que, de lo que ustedes se vayan, vayan escuchando. Se les voy a poner el listening dos veces para que ustedes puedan tomar notas. We have here different occupations. A tour guide, a dentist, a pilot, a nurse, and a shop assistant, right? We have different professions. And you are going to listen to five different people talking. I need you to listen and take notes, ¿ok? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a escuchar y tomar notas. Por eso los he, los he silenciado a todos para que no nos interrumpamos y puedan escuchar. Me dan un like en la pantalla si pueden escuchar el audio. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Yes. Saturdays are busy because... Yes. Ok, I will play it again. Listen. Hey. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. 
Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. B. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer, so it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take tourists to visit the university colleges, and then we go down to the river. We go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat trip. But last summer, one tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. C. I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. It's so important to look after your teeth. D. My job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Most of the time I fly in Europe to places like Spain, Greece and Italy. The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and thunderstorms are the worst. Uh, the best thing is visiting different places. E. I work in a hospital in the city centre. It's a very big hospital. I help the doctors with the patients. I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel ill. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform and sometimes I have to work at night. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. Okay, Our shop again. sells... A. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. B. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer, so it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take tourists to visit the university colleges, and then we go down to the river. We go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat trip, but last summer, one tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. C. I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. It's so important to look after your teeth. D. My job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Most of the time I fly in Europe to places like Spain, Greece and Italy. The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and thunderstorms are the worst. Uh, the best thing is visiting different places. E. I work in a hospital in the city centre. It's a very big hospital. I help the doctors with the patients. I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel ill. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform and sometimes I have to work at night. This recording was brought to you. Okay, so, complicated? Yes or no? No. No, right? <laughs> yes, right? Se sintieron como en el TikTok de cuando hago el examen de inglés. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> speaker number one. Could you uh, take the profession of a speaker number one? Yeah. What yes. is it? I work as a teacher. He works as a? Teacher. As a teacher. 
we have the tour guide, the dentist, the pilot, <laughs> the nurse, and the chap assistant. The speaker A works as a tour guide. Nurse. Tour guide. A tour guide. Are you sure? Let's listen to the first one. Vamos a escuchar solo el primero. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. That's when everyone goes shopping. Shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. I work in the children's department. He is a shop assistant, right? He's a shop assistant. What about the speaker number two? Pilot. A pilot. Are you sure? No. Okay, we are we're kind of guessing. Okay, let's see. I work during my summer holiday when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer. So it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. Tour guide. It's a tour guide, right? He's a tour guide. Tour Speaker guide. C. I take tourists to visit. Love the boat trip, but last summer, one tourist fell in the river. I okay. love meeting people from all over the world. Speaker C. C. Not a... I like my job. But lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Uh, dentists. Dentist. The dentist, right? They hate the dentist. Letter D. Pilot. It's a pilot, right? And the last one is a nurse. 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 The last one is a nurse. So <clears throat> here you have the listening, but you have the written part. Let me just make it a little bit bigger for you to read, okay? En esta parte tenemos la parte escrita de cada uno de las, de las personas, okay? A veces es un poco complicado entenderlo, pero siempre cuando estamos, cuando estamos iniciando niveles como el de ustedes, yo siempre les digo, si tienen un listening, busquen la parte escrita. Si les gustan las canciones, busquen las letras. ¿Para qué? Para que ustedes puedan ir oyendo y puedan ir comparando con lo que dice. Okay? So here you have the first one. Pay attention. I am going to silent everybody again. Lo voy a silenciar de nuevo para que no nos interrumpamos. Ok. Here we go. <clears throat> and listen and read. Ok. Aquí tenemos dos retos. Vamos a escuchar y vamos a leer. Ok. I'm going to move this one a little bit here. And I will move this one as well. Hey. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Saturdays are busy because that's when everyone goes shopping. Our shop sells clothes and accessories for men, women and children. I work in the children's department. It can be crazy sometimes, but it's fun. B. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer, so it's easy to find a job as a tour guide. Oh, sorry. It was me. <laughs> sorry. A. I take tourists to visit the university colleges, and then we go down to the river. We go along the river on a boat. The tourists love the boat trip, but last summer, one tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. C. I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. It's so important to look after your teeth. D. My job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Most of the time I fly in Europe to places like Spain, Greece and Italy. 
The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and thunderstorms are the worst. Uh, the best thing is visiting different places. E. I work in a hospital in the city centre. It's a very big hospital. I help the doctors with the patients. I give them their medicine and look after them when they feel ill. I love my job, but I don't like the uniform, and sometimes I have to work at night. Okay. Was <laughs> he loves the job, but he hates the uniform. Was it easier for you to understand? Cuando iban leyendo, era mucho más fácil comprenderlo. Yes. Sure, right? Yes. Entonces, yo siempre les recomiendo, por ejemplo, en esta etapa que estamos ahorita, ustedes, cuando busquen un listening, búsquenlo con la parte escrita, con el transcript. ¿Para qué? Para que vayan entrenando su oído y vayan reconociendo las palabras. Porque al principio, cuando lo escucharon, quizás la primera vez fue así como que, ¿What? I'm walking to church. What? What are you saying? Right? Más que estaba en British English. Ok, tenemos dos tipos de acentos en el idioma inglés. El American accent, that is the one that I have, right? The normal, the normal accent. And the British accent is like, I work on Saturdays and it's school holidays. Saturdays are busy and everyone goes shopping. So it's a different thing. It's the one that they speak in Europe and all these parts, right? That it's a British English. But the normal one, the one that you listen, it's the American English, right? So that's the difference. That is something that you can keep as a difference there. Okay, so uh, it, was, it was a good exercise. Do you have any question about vocabulary? Ahorita que ya vieron la parte escrita, ¿tienen preguntas de vocabulario? So you say, teacher, what's the meaning of... Uh -huh. With all these paragraphs, con este párrafo, ¿tienen preguntas? Questions on vocabulary? Do you know all the vocabulary? ¿Saben todo el vocabulario que está aquí mostrado? So you can ask questions. Uh -huh. crazy. 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 crazy 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 it can be crazy sometimes puede ser realmente loco a veces right it can be crazy sometimes it can be like aquí allá que nos queda el niño bla, bla, bla. Ah, come on you say it's crazy crazy puede ser loco algunas veces you say sometimes es algunas veces any other question Oxford Oxford is the name of the university. Okay. The University of Oxford. I like my home. My job. My job. My job. Mi my trabajo. Job. My job. Mm. They hate. Do you know what's the meaning of hate? Tourists love the boat trip. <laughs> okay, tourists love the boat trips. Los turistas uh -huh. aman yes. los paseos en bote. Tourists love the boat trips. Oh. The boat trips son los paseos en lancha o los paseos en bote. What is the meaning of hate? Uh, but I odiar. Like... odiar, exactly like that. That's the meaning of hate. Another question. What was the other question? Alguien me va a hacer una pregunta cuando yo hable. Um, but I like it because I love cleaning. Nade. Okay, nade. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> Uh, but, like. ah, but I like it because I love flying. But I like it, pero me gusta. My job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. Pero me gusta uh -huh. porque me encanta volar. Oh, yeah. Okay, I fly planes, right? I fly planes. Flying. 
that take people to different places on holiday. Holiday is los días festivos. Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm, it's like tormentas eléctricas como la que tuvimos ahora. The thunderstorms, like thunder es los truenos. Like, that's a thunder. The thunderstorms son las tormentas que tienen mucha electricidad y truenos. That's a thunderstorm. No more questions. No tienen preguntas? Yo sí. <laughs> what is the meaning of cells? Cells. Vender. Vender. Very good. What is the meaning of find? Buscar. Encontrar. It's Encontrar, easy to buscar. find a job. Okay, very good. What is the meaning of along the river? Along the Alor. river. Alor. Along the river. We go along the river. A lo largo del río. Very good. Last summer. El último verano. El verano. El verano pasado. El verano pasado. El último verano. Let's see. Hard work. Trabajo duro. Trabajo duro. Very good. Teeth. Siente. Dientes, Diente. very good, very good. Let's see. Uh, let me see. The city center. Centro de la ciudad. Centro de la ciudad. El centro de la ciudad, very good. Centro de la ciudad. What is the meaning of feel ill? Sentir. Sentir. Sentirse. Sentir. <laughs> Enfermo. Uh -huh. Enfermo. Very good job. Enfermo. Ah, you <laughs> the next one. I have to work at night. Tengo que trabajar de noche. Tengo que trabajar de noche. Vamos a ver. What is this sentence? ¿Quién me la lee? Yo trabajo los sábados en la... Ajá. Yo trabajo. En la escuela los días festivos. <laughs> ok. I work on Saturdays and in the school holidays. Ok. Yo trabajo los sábados y en, la, en los festivos de la escuela. Ok. Yo trabajo los sábados y en los festivos de la escuela. The next one. In English. In English. I need someone to read this in English. Saturday are busy because... Busy or busy? Busy. busy. Ajá, uh -huh. Saturdays are busy. Because the cat works. Because, because that is when every, every everyone goes shopping. Everyone goes shopping. shopping. The next one. And I start for men. Oh, shop. Set clothes. Set clothes. Set clothes. Set Men, women, and children. Women. Women. Men, women, women, women children. But it's fun. I work during, I work during my holidays. Universe. Okay. I work during my summer holidays when I'm not at university. University. Oxford has thousands of tourists in the summer, so it's very easy to find a job as a tour guide. I take I 
Un turista se cayó en, el, en la vía del río. Se cayó en el río, right? One tourist fell in the river. I love meeting people from all over the world. Okay. Good job. Okay, good, good, good job. Hey, déjenme decirles que... Vaya todos, silencio. Okay, déjenme decirles que para hacer su segunda semana en inglés, leen bien bonito. Okay. Important. When you read, you need to respect the sentences. ¿Por qué se los iba marcando hasta los puntos? Porque cuando ustedes leen, tienen que respetar las oraciones completas hasta donde encuentren el primer punto. This one, for example. I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. Hasta ahí paran. Okay. Sometimes it's very hard work, but it's great to help people when they have a problem. Hasta aquí termina la siguiente oración. It is so important to look after your teeth. Hasta aquí termina la tercera. Cuando leemos en inglés, no leemos I like my job, but lots of people don't like coming to see me. No, right? You don't have to read like that. Ustedes tienen que leer todo hasta el punto. Cuando hay una coma, hacemos una pausa chiquita y seguimos. I like my job. Hacemos una pausa corta. I like my job. But lots of people don't like coming to see me because they hate dentists. And you stop. Okay? So when you read, try to practice that. Cuando lean, traten de practicar esto. Traten de irse siempre hasta los puntos. Siempre hasta los puntos. Eso sí que no se va a ir hasta el punto final, ¿verdad? It is very difficult. I like it. And then it's, no, right, try to stop on the period. Okay, no va a terminar ahogado. ¿Qué lo mató? El inglés. <laughs> you have to read up to the periods, okay? So that's important. In this one, for example, you say, my job is very difficult, but I like it because I love flying. I fly planes that take people to different places on holiday. Most of the time, I fly in Europe to places like Spain, Greece and Italy. The most difficult thing about my job is when the weather is bad. Snow and thunderstorms are the worst. The best thing is visiting different places. Ya ven, cuando ustedes respetan las puntuaciones, su entonación es correcta. So, that was a little trick, okay? Siempre leer en voz alta ayuda un montón a su práctica del idioma, okay? So, it is very Good and it is very necessary. Let's just move to the next one. We are going to move to the next slide. And in here, here we have different adjectives. I have here different adjectives. Which is the first one? Happy, happy. The next one. Frustrated. 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 Like, oh, no. Right. Frustrated. The next Frustrated. one is proud. 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 Orgulloso. Right. Proud. proud. Confident. Confident. Confiado. Right. Indifferent. Indifferent. Determined. Determined. Determinado. Que tienes un fin en Disappointed. Thoughtful. Thoughtful. Pensativo, right? Thoughtful. Surprise. 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 Optimistic. Optimistic. Annoyed. It's like, annoyed. Annoyed. 
Ay, no, no, no. Todo, respiran y le caen mal. O sea, ay, oh, ah, no, no. Pessimistic. Pessimistic. Es que va a llover, se me va a ir la luz. No, es que, es que Luis pronuncia más bonito que yo. No voy a poder. No, es que la teacher, no, la teacher es muy, ay, muy teacher. <laughs> so, that's pessimistic. pessimistic, right? That you find a problem in every single thing, right? That's pessimistic. How are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? Uh, I, I am happy. I am feeling I am. happy. I am feeling happy. I am feeling happy. I am feeling different. <laughs> Determined. I am feeling pessimist. Pessimistic. Why? Annoyed. Annoyed. <laughs> annoyed. Porque annoyed. Come on. Mucho Because calor. <laughs> Mucho I'm calor. Feeling, I'm feeling surprised. You're surprised. Surprised. I am optimist. Optimists, very good. I am optimist. <laughs> annoyed. <laughs> annoyed. Cuando, cuando ando un zancudito, por ejemplo, en la noche. You are annoyed. Annoyed by the noise. Like, Ugh! and you want to kill it and you cannot kill it. Right? That is to feel annoyed. Good. That was just a, a short practice for that. So in this one, right? Here we have right different vocabulary. A bottle of water. Do you have your bottle of water next to you, people? Tienen su botella de agua ahí cerquita? No. No. It is important that you feel always hydrated, right? These are your, your Coca Cola. Pessimistic. <laughs> your fingers. Your uh, coffee. coffee. Yeah, it's okay. Coffee. Right? The hand and your arm, right? All those things are in work. In this one, what is the mistake, people? My boss are friendly. My boss are friendly. What is the mistake? ¿Cuál es el error aquí? Verse to be. Aha, but what is the what is the mistake? My boss is is right. Is. My boss is friendly because uh, you are talking only about one person. My boss is friendly. Marcos and Sandra is creative. Are. 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 are creative. They are not thirsty. I'm not thirsty. I'm not thirsty. The contraction. Good. The contraction, right? The contraction. They are not thirsty. And is you angry? Are you? Are you, are, are you angry? Are you angry? Angry, angry. Angry beer. The angry birds, uh huh? <laughs> the angry birds. <laughs> the angry birds. And as we were talking before, right? Como estábamos hablando hace unos minutitos. The possessive adjectives, right? Here you have them. The possessive adjectives. I am going to go in deep a little bit on this one in this final part that we have today and the possessive adjectives right as we were talking a, a little bit before right we have i my he his she uh, her it it's you your we our and they their so those are the possessive adjectives in this one you say it's my bag it's my bag because you have it, right? Or it's my bag, right? In the contraction here. The next one. It is your watch. It is your watch. This is another example. It is your watch. It is his book. Or it's his book, right? Both sentences are correct, right? It is his book. Es el suyo, eh? El, porque es un niño. Right? It is his book. It's her car. It's her car. Right? It is her car. This is not my car. It is her car. It is their house. Es la casa de 
ellos. It is their house. And here we have a couple of examples that ones that we were using in uh, the book, right? My mom's name is, what is the name of your mom? You are going to answer according to your mother, right? My, my mom's name is Carmen. My dad's name is, what is your dad's name? Dad's name is Luis. Luis. Jose. Jose. Yes. Okay. My best friend's name is? Carolina. Carolina. Good. My best friend's name is. Los chicos tienen que decir el nombre del esposo. Sí. No van a decir Julieta, eh. Ah, ¿quién es la Julieta? No, I'm kidding. My best friend's name is. Jose and Brian's names are. Okay, last names. Sorry, give me come last names. Sorry, last names are. Here you can say Flores, Perez, Martinez, etc. Right? So let's keep on more examples. I have more examples here. Tengo otros ejemplos aquí. In this one, for these possessive adjectives that we have here, what is my name? What is your name? What is his name? What is her name? This is its house. This is our house. This is their house. In this one, it says, where is we can find it? We have we here. Tenemos we aquí. ¿Qué possessive adjective necesitamos aquí? Or, Where is or, our? Or, right? Or, our. Our. Where is our classroom? We can find it. Susan, is that on the table? Si le estamos diciendo a una segunda persona, imagínense que yo tengo aquí a Pepito. Vea. Hey, Pepito, is that on the table? Si yo se lo estoy diciendo a una segunda persona, sure. le digo, ¿es, ¿es ese tu lapicero? Is that? Sure. Sure. Susan, is that your pen on the table? ¿Es ese tu lapicero el que está en la mesa? So, tú, porque estoy hablando con una segunda persona. What is your name? What is your name? Okay. What is your name? My name is Thomas. Thomas. Right? My name is Thomas. Thomas. And then you have the example there. Okay. Okay. I have here some more sentences. Aquí tengo más oraciones. Don't worry. I say, she is from Russia. She. Her. Her. Her name is, and then she has a Russian name, Svetlana. I am Japanese. My parents. My parents, right? My parents are from Japan. He isn't from China. Your family. He isn't from China. He. Your his, 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 his okay. name. Okay, he isn't from China. His family is from, family is from Vietnam. 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 Estamos hablando de he. You are from Italy. Your, Your. Your name Your. is Mario. They are from Greece. They. 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 Their names are Costas and Kimis. We are English. Our, our, our parents. Our, our, our parents are from London. London. From London. London. Parents, right? London. Parents. Entonces, no decimos parents. parents, decimos parents. parents. Our parents, parents are from London. Parents are from London. Parents, no. Parents. 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 Se muere. The pair, se muere un diccionario si decimos parents, ya les dije. Ok, <laughs> let's go on this one. I have here this one. And it says, what is your name? Your name. 
Hey, what is this right here? My name is. My name. Okay, do we aquí? What is your name? My name is. Okay, Carlo. here you have. So let me make this a smaller. So you say, my, my name is Carlo. I am from Italy. Nice to meet you, Carlo. I'm Aneta. Welcome to. Your. Welcome to your English class. Who are, Who are you? 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 You are a student. You are. Si le digo yo, who are you a todos ustedes? ¿Qué me contestan ustedes? You are students or? We are. We are. We are. We are. What are? You are students. Si me voy a referir a todos ustedes, what are? My. Your. My yours. Name. What are your names? Y decimos, lo de nosotros. Our names are Pablo and Maria. How old is Pablo? I think. Four. I think. Aquí les contesto yo. I think he is. Ah, ya había puesto he aquí. I think he is about thirty. Yo creo que él anda en los treinta. I think he is about thirty. Right? He is about thirty. Si ven a teacher Nati, dice, I think she's about twenty. Okay. I think he is about. I think he's And where is Maria from? Where is Maria from? She is. She is. Very good. She is from Spain. She. ¿Cuál es el posesivo que vamos a ocupar aquí? Her. Si usamos he. Ajá. Her. Her hometown is Madrid. Her hometown, su lugar de nacimiento, right? Her hometown is Madrid. What is your hometown, people? San Jacinto. San Jacinto, ajá. What is your hometown? La My libertad. hometown, La Libertad. My hometown is Chalchuapa. What is your hometown? Santiago Nonualco. Santiago Nonualco, ajá. ¿Dónde nacieron? ¿De dónde son oriundos? Okay. Takatecoluca. Very nice. And who's that man? He's our English teacher. His name is John. He is our English teacher. His name is John. John. Okay. There you have the example in a conversation. Okay. And one of the final exercises that we are going to do, okay? This is the complete sentence. And, and he's her English teacher, right? Here you have it. This is our English teacher. How old are you people? How old are you? I am 27. 27 years old. Vamos a ver los demás. I am 40. 40. 44. 44. 37. 37. Uh-huh. 44. Selena, how old are you? 45 years old. 49. 29. Astrid? I'm, I am 45 years old. Okay, 45. Astrid, no le escuché. 33. 33. Okay, Ulises? Eight. 28. 27, 28, okay, 20, 23, <laughs> and 21, right? Yo, I just acabo de cumplir la mayoría. <laughs> 21, 21 years old. So that is the way you use this question. This is one of the last things we are going to do today. Este es uno de los, de los últimos temas que vamos a tocar ahora. And, okay, le voy a silenciar a todos. The WH questions. Preguntas con WH. What, when, who, where, why, and how, right? What, what's your name? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? What's your profession, right? 
when. What does the question when looks for? ¿Qué contesta o qué busca la pregunta when? Cuando. Cuando. Busca una. Una fecha. fecha right? Una fecha. Una fecha. Who? ¿Qué es lo que busca who? ¿Quién? 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 So, ¿Qué es lo que busca? Una persona. Una persona. Excellent. Where? Lugar. ¿Dónde? Un lugar. Un lugar. Un lugar. Why? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Qué busca entonces? Una respuesta. Una, una razón. razón. Exactly, una razón. ¿En how? ¿Cómo? 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 Entonces pregunta. busca una pregunta, una manera. How? Busca una respuesta como, ¿de cómo qué? ¿Cómo lo haces? ¿Cómo? ¿Cuántos años tiene? Right? How old are you? Examples of the questions. What's your name? Remember to answer in a complete form. What's your name? So you say, my name is my name. Natalie. My name is, right, complete answers. What's your name? When is your birthday? My birthday is on September 15th. Okay, that's my birthday. When is your birthday? My birthday is on October 16th. May the second, right? Who is she? Who is she? La lady ahí con la camisa azul. Who is she? ¿Quién es la señorita de la camisa azul? Norma. Uy, tenemos como tres. <laughs> Sorry. Evelyn. Evelyn, Selina, Norma, right? <laughs> okay, vamos a ver. Who's the boy? Who's the boy in the black shirt? The boy in the Gallego. black shirt. Gallegos. Gallegos. Edwin. Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the boy in the blue shirt? Biting his nails. No. Ulises. It's good. Who is the lady with no camera? The slash dog. Uh -huh. Who is Griselda. The lady? Griselda, very good job. So that's the way we answer. When is your birthday? Let's see. Selena, when is your birthday? Birthday. No quiero que anden cantando por el mundo. Happy birthday to you. No. Happy <laughs> birthday. 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 Mis niños, mis estudiantes nunca dicen verde. Birthday. Happy birthday. So in the next celebration, aunque sea el único familiar que la cante chivo, usted diga happy, happy birthday, birthday to birthday. you. Happy birthday to you, right? Sí, no vayan a andar diciendo. Ajá, no vayan a andar diciendo happy beer day. No, beer is another thing, right? A menos que tengan, a menos que tengan un día de cerveza, sí. Happy beer day, yeah. Happy birthday, birthday. 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 Okay. Luis Parrilla. Sapo verde. Luis Parrilla, when is your birthday? It's September 24. September 24. Good. Carolina, when is your birthday? My birthday. 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 My 22. May 22. Okay. Norma Jamilet, when is your birthday? My birthday, <laughs> uh, September 23. September 23, September 24. Oh my God. <laughs> September 15, September 23, September 24. Another one for September? September. Uh -huh. ¿Quién más cumpleaños en septiembre? I am. Uh -huh. September 1. September 8. Eight. Oh my God. <laughs> Todos somos hijos de la Navidad. <laughs> so, <laughs> we were a Christmas gift. Todos los niños de septiembre somos un regalo de Navidad. <laughs> okay. So, 
Those are the questions. Tomorrow, we are going to practice questions, okay? Questions, and we are going to do the introduction for unit number two. Okay, and there you have the answers, right? There you have the answers. Uh, I just got a couple of answers. My name is Sofia. My birthday is on June 20th. Who's she? She's my sister. Where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Why are you happy? Because I feel good. And how old are you? I am 29 years old. Here you have a couple of examples of answers. Okay. So, <coughs> uy, 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 cuidado. <laughs> cuidado, be careful. Okay. So, <laughs> in this one, <laughs> cuidado la porcina. <laughs> Hey, hombre, qué malía son ustedes. Okay, so with this one, we are going to finish the unit number one. Tomorrow, we are going to start with unit number three. And we are going to start with unit number two. Sorry, tomorrow, we are going to use number two of the module, of the manual, okay? Mañana vamos a cubrir ya la parte dos del manual. Por si no la han descargado, descarguenla para que ya la vayan viendo. Vamos a ver... Eso. Okay, have a wonderful night, my dear students. I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Sleep well and have a very good night. Okay, see you tomorrow, my dear students. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye, tomorrow. Tomorrow, teacher. Bye, bye, bye. 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 <laughs> Sleep tight. Very nice. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Have a very bye. good night. Bye. <laughs> Study and practice, okay? Take care. Vayan a cenar todos. Bye-bye. Take care, my dear students.